Namaste, my beautiful collective. I am doing a candle wax reading for December, or whenever you see this, it's timeless. Um, so it's good for about four to six weeks, actually till the end of the year from the time I'm recording it right now. So this will bring us into 2024. I wanna wish everybody a happy holidays and um, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you know, the ones that have been following me here for, I've been doing this since 2020. I really appreciate it and I wanna send love to you all. In saying that, we have two bowls. Um, we have the white bowl with the red candle and then we have the green bowl with the white candle. So um, I want you to focus on the bowls. We'll take a deep breath. Before I go, I wanna mention that um, if you wanna book a reading with me or you wanna see any of my other social media, um, the link is in the description box below. So in saying that, um, let's take a deep breath. Focus on the bowl that resonates with you the most. And we will be back with bowl number one. So if you chose bowl number one, the white bowl with the red candle, this is gonna be your reading. If you'd like to take a deep breath with me again, I want you to focus on the water. And we'll see what we can come up with for you. Give me a moment. We'll let the candle wax flow a little bit here. So right away, I see it looks like a squirrel. Um, so I feel like you're gathering, and he's holding like, you know, acorns or something. You're gathering your resources um, for whatever reason, or you may have to do that in the future. I see an angel. Um, so you, you're divinely protected. You have angels watching over you. I also see a person here with big hair. You might be changing your hairstyle or color because it looks like, you know, like really big, big hair. It's almost like, or a headshot. You might be going for like a, a headshot for something. Um, you know, maybe a business card or a, you know, a picture for a resume or something like that, or for the internet. But it's like a headshot. I get that too. I see an ax, so something may have to be cut out of your life. And I get like pretty soon. A letter P. I also see a necklace here. You might be getting uh, some jewelry for Christmas or an event, a birthday or something, and possibly a necklace, something that you really wanted. It might be in your stocking, because they can see a, st a stocking here too if you celebrate Christmas. And it looks like a little bird, almost like a little chick, but birds are messengers, so expect some kind of a message to be coming into you soon is important. Over here, I know this is a different sign. This is very random, but um, Native American, they have a, a, an entity or a spirit called Cocopelli. 
And it reminds me of that Coco Pelli symbol, uh, which is fertility. They're also a trickster energy. Um, but look it up, Coco Pelli, it's called. The letter Y, you might be asking yourself why uh, about a certain situation or something that just happened or in the future. I get like a basket, so some kind of bounty or harvest or uh, abundance in some way. The basket. And I get a wishbone, so make a wish. You'll receive a, a wish. A wish will be granted to you. The letter L. looks like a skull over here maybe you collect skulls or something like that um, or you know just make sure you know you protect your head in some way skull may be significant to somebody for some reason I also get a turtle. Something is very slow moving in your life. I feel like um, once we get through the next six weeks, it will start to speed up for you. Be careful of snakes. There's a snake. And I don't mean a regular snake, although it could be. I mean like snakes as people. Be careful of somebody trying to swindle you or deceive you in some way. You might have snakes around you. The letter O. I also see a bat. So maybe something about something that transpired on Halloween with the skull and the bat, or something might be like, you know, driving you batty is the other thing I get. But I get like maybe something related to something that transpired around Halloween. Number four, and you could be seeing 444 or 44 or just the number four. I get it's upside down, but I see a, a little girl in a dress here. You might be going to some event that you really have to get dressy for more than usual. You know, it could be some kind of a party or a dinner. But like I get more like a black tie affair type thing. I see it looks like a little spaceship, maybe. You know, you, you saw something recently or you're interested in UFOs. I love that stuff, so I understand. Over here, it looks like coins. Um, so money may be coming in, maybe a, oop, I just lost the candle. Uh, Christmas bonus. I can't relight it, so we're just going to have to go from there. It just dropped, so that means that, you know, that was that for that situation. But I do get some kind of money coming in. Um, let's see what else I can see here. It's like a profile. 
the profile of something. Uh, something might be profiled or like profiling. I don't know in what capacity the profiling will happen, but that's what I'm getting. The number eight. Uh, I see it looks like a person here that's shrugging their shoulders like I don't know and you really might think that they know the information but they don't or somebody's going to come at you like you're adamant that you know something that you don't know and right next to it is like somebody that's flexing their muscles so somebody might be trying to show off. I see it looks like a little plane, so maybe a short trip somewhere or a local trip um, somewhere over the holidays or over the next six weeks. And then I get somebody, it looks like they're skating. So if you live in the winter area, you might be skating or something like that, doing some kind of skating or outdoor winter activity. And the letter C. Bowl number one, that's just about what I have for you. I don't see anything else. Uh, again, have a happy holiday. Thank you for coming here and sending love and blessings to you all. Namaste. And if you chose bowl number two, the green bowl with the white candle, thank you so much for being here. This is going to be your reading for December or the next six weeks whenever you see it because it's timeless. So I want you to focus on the water. Light the candle and we will see what messages we get for you. That reminds me of an oh. It's like somebody pointing towards something in the sky. So you might be seeing something interesting in the sky, which is funny because in bowl number one, we got a spaceship. So watch bowl number one, that's interesting. Lots of like these these um, can candle wax drops look like faces. So I feel like you'll be dealing with a lot of people in December. All kinds of people, maybe family, maybe celebrations, get-togethers. And over here now I see somebody, it's like they're trying to balance stuff. They might be like unbalanced because they got a lot on their plate. A lot of stuff to do. So just make sure you're balanced. And then over here I see uh, Mia. That looks like a person handing something. So you might receive a present or a gift or somebody will offer you a helping hand. Which is always good. Lots of faces, though. There's got to be at least seven or eight faces, I see. The letter T. The number seven. An angel wing. So you're being... Uh, we, I think we got a whole angel in the other one. Lots of angelic stuff, which is funny, too, because I just put up a new angel print... And I was listening to um, a YouTube, I think it was Archangel Michael meditation on my television today while I was, you know, preparing for these readings. So the angels are very prevalent today, even in my card readings. And I get, it looks like a dove, but birds are messengers. 
but I get like some kind of peace in a situation. A fish, a fish to me means money. Also, you know, it might be a nice seafood dinner or seeing fish somewhere. Letter C, I don't know if I said that already. An owl, so wisdom. A little girl, a little girl might be significant in some way. Candle flame is outrageous. Um, and like, it's like somebody's like either bent, bench pressing something or holding something over their head. Maybe somebody is holding something over your head. Don't worry about it. Let it go. And then there's another person here with open arms. So somebody will be welcoming you or very happy to see you and opening their heart and love out to you. There's a man here with short hair, shorter hair and a beard might be significant. And I see a couple of hearts, so love. The letter B. Number two, a helicopter. I don't know how that would be significant to you. I get a big cup, um, so you'll be offered something, you know, a lot of love or a lot of emotion. get somebody else and they're also looking like they're looking at something so something is really I feel like this you know it might not be for everybody take it out it resonates but somebody might see something that just kind of puts them in awe is what I get in this in this bowl number 11 oh you might see 11 11 I said the letter B. I get it looks like LOL, so you know, something make me giggle or laugh, you know, or you might get a funny joke from somebody in the near future. I get an old lady, she might be very significant, an elderly woman. Number nine. I gotta put this down. Um, there's another heart here. It looks like um, glasses. You might, you know, be going to get your glasses or get your eyes checked. Or you get a new pair of like sunglasses or something. I got an angel here and a couple of angels here. So really very strong with the angels as well. Lots of angels and birds. This to me reminds me of a candy cane, which is par for the season here. The letter R. And a lowercase d. 
and an X, so there might be an X or something about an X. And bowl number two, that's all I have for you. Have a wonderful holiday. Um, if you'd like to book a reading, again, the link is in the description box below. Also, my other social media. Um, I want to thank you all for, you know, whoever watches me, sending love to you all. Have a wonderful holiday season. Namaste.